We'll do these last two examples um, from your notes paper for 3.8. If a particle moves along the x-axis and we know that its position is inverse tangent of square root of t, can I find the velocity when t equals 16? So just notice that x of t is the position function so v of t, the velocity, is going to be the derivative of the position function. And the thing I've been asked to find is the velocity when time is 16. That's v of 16. So before I can tell you v of 16, I have to find an expression for v of t. That's going to be my job first. I'll write up here that I said that, whoops, the derivative with respect to x, derivative with respect to x, of inverse tangent of x of u is 1 over 1 plus u squared times du dt. I should have said du dx. All right, so the question here, what's the inside function? What's getting inverse tangented? That's the square root of t. So in this case, u equals square root of t. And what we're going to find is dx dt, or v of t. So v of t is going to equal 1 over, so the formula says it's supposed to be 1 over 1 plus u squared. So 1 plus square root of t squared times du dt, in this case, as u is a function of t, not of x. Well, I'll just come over here and make sure that I remember how to find du dt. That's going to be 1 over 2 t to the negative 1 half. That's a negative. Or that's the same as 1 over 2 square root of t. So that's the chain rule part of what I need, I'm going to need to multiply by, in this case, du dt, so 1 over 2 square root of t. That's a fine answer. You don't have to simplify that. Um, just know if you could simplify it. And that's the same as 1 over 2 square root of t times 1 plus square root of t squared is Now I've been asked to find v of 16. v of 16 is going to be 1 over 2 times the square root of 16 times 1 plus 16. Uh, which you could simplify. That's square root of 16 is 4. So 1 over 2 times 4, 1 over 8. So still in the denominator, 1 over 8 times 17. So I need the derivative now of inverse secant of 5x to the fourth. I'll change to blue here. Let's write down what I know, which is the derivative with respect to x of inverse secant of x. Hmm. Inverse secant of u is 1 over, that's the absolute value of u, times the square root of u squared minus 1. So in this case, my u is the thing that's getting inverse secanted. So u is 5x to the fourth. du dx should be pretty easy to find. That's 20x cubed. So d dx of inverse secant of 5x to the fourth, d dx of inverse secant 5x to the fourth equals 1 over the absolute value of u, which is 5x to the fourth. Oops, should be absolute value bar. Times the square root of 5x to the fourth all squared, 5x to the fourth squared minus 1 times didn't give myself enough room. du dx, which we just said was 20x cubed.
to notice on the free response section, that's a fine answer if you wanted to simplify it. This could be 20x cubed over absolute value 5x to the fourth. Square root of 5x to the fourth, all squared. The common error would be to say that that's 5x to the eighth. But it's really 25 x to the eighth minus one. Final answer.